Greetings, I am Alexander 2K, and this is Baldur's Gate 3. That is the third Baldur's Gate game. One, two, Baldur's Gate the third. Third one. And uh, I have a dual class. Uh, that's my dog. I have a dual class rogue, uh, and then level two bard, and the idea is to get these uh, short bows going. So we're a thief in the sense that we can we get the bonus these things only cost a short uh, a bonus action and we get two bonus actions and we are dual wielding which means that with our offhand we can uh, make an attack plus I get the extra attack if that makes sense and then with Bard <clears throat> I am uh, I'm basically taking utility spells I'm not really you know I've got a heal I've got um, you know, I can cast light on myself, feather fall, uh, go farther, talk with animals. I want to get the um, uh, talk to undead, uh, you know, speak with undead, what's it called? It has a name. Yeah, speak with, speak with the dead, it's called. I want to get that, and eventually I will. And the other is that I really like is this one, uh, detect thoughts. And so, bards are a charisma based. Um, uh, charisma based character class class and so uh, having them front and be the talking so they can talk with animals my detect thoughts is is handy it's an option in dialogue a lot and it usually gets you right through if you take the option and then I've taken all the permanent buffs I can find Lovatar's love uh, the thing where Volo gouges your eye out uh, and so on uh, but what I want to show you here, oh, and then eventually we're going to get to College of Swords, uh, which is here, and uh, there's Mobile Flourish and Defensive Flourish, but who cares? You also get Slashing Flourish, which is basically you can take two attacks. Or I should say, when you use an action, you get a second. You can fire on two people. I th believe that's the way it works. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I think what it is is you use the action, and then you get a second shot. So you get your regular shot on one guy, and then you get another shot on another guy. Uh, you can shoot at two enemies at once. And then you can also pick um, a fighting style. I'm going to pick uh, two-weapon fighting, so my offhand does as much damage as my main hit. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then probably medium armor. I, I'm not sure. I might stay with light armor, but it also you also get scimitars there. And then, uh, so that's going to be one more attack, basically, when I get that one. And then uh, improving, improving, doesn't matter. And then once you get down to level six, which is another, so I'm at level two. I'm aspiring to get to level three, because I already have three levels of rogue. I'm trying to get to level three of, uh, of uh, as a bard in order to get this uh, slashing flourish. Uh, but then three levels after that, with the College of Swords, or in fact the College of Bad, but with the College of Swords, you get an extra attack, which is somewhere. So here's level five, here's level six, College of Swords, extra attack. So in theory, you get the attack, you make it a, you spend a bardic inspiration to make it a slashing attack, is that what they call it? Yeah, so you get an attack, and then you use the slashing flourish, so you that one attack is actually two attacks and then you take your turn and then you get a second attack a second main hand attack with slashing flourish again I believe is how it works but I haven't tried it yet then um, so I should get with the main hand with the main attack with the main green action with this action I should get two attacks instead of one attack which means a slashing attack your main attack, plus it's a slashing attack, so I attack a second target, that's two hits. Then I get another attack, because I get two attacks. Again with the slashing, that's four attacks. And then I get two offhand attacks. That should be six attacks in one turn. Ugh. We'll see how it all works out. <clears throat> we don't know for sure. Anyway, here comes the demo. So come on, everybody. Let's slip into uh, turn base mode here. I don't know if I can hit him from here. That's kind of a long way. 
Oh, I see. He moves away. So, you know what? We should probably be over here. In fact, let's exit turn base mode. Let's get my guy. Let's see if we can get behind. I'm talking to you. What are you doing? Oh, this one. And this one. Yeah, over here. Well, he stands over there forever. Okay, so the next time he stands over... Okay, so we'll hide behind here so we're not seen. <clears throat> and then when he walks over there... And he's going to stand there a long time. Yeah, that's... Oh, he did stand there very long, did he? Oh, he's kind of random. You don't exactly know what he's going to do, do you? Well, now he's standing here a long time. Huh. Okay, doggy, I want you to stay there. So now I'm in turn-based mode. I should be able to go check this out. Oh, this takes a short action. Okay, cool. Can I hit him from here? Can't have disadvantage. Does he think he's higher than me? Maybe he's outside of range or something. Let me sneak in a little closer. There we go. Okay, so I'm outside of combat. So here's my first free shot. And we'll do the sneak attack. We should be 8 to 26. A little bit of acid. Blah, blah, blah. So here's my sneak attack. That's one. Okay, now I can't do sneak attack again. Oh, I can do sneak attack again. Oh, he's surprised. So here's number two. Oh, yeah, he knows I'm here now, so I can't do sneak attack again. That's fine. So we will now do a regular attack. So there's two. And now we're going to do, so I've used my attack from outside of combat, which didn't cost me anything. Then I took a main attack, and I have two offhand attacks here. So here's one offhand attack. This is the other hand firing. And I did 14 that time. So as long as my to hit, so right now I have the option I could sneak, because I still have, because sneak and disengage and, and dash are all bonus actions, because I'm a rogue, I could use this last attack. So I've attacked once, twice, I've attacked three times now. I could attack the fourth time, and I think I will, because it only has two points. Let's see. Yeah, I'm 90%. I'll, I'll do it. But if he had a ton of hit points left or my, or my attack wasn't looking good, I could uh, use... Uh, sneak or dash or jump or anything that's this bonus action down here. So here's my last attack. And then we'll just shoot back over here and go back down into sneak. So just to review, I waited until he was out of the way, pointed the right way, and then I kind of crept towards him. Then I went into turn base mode. Then I did the sneak attack on him, made sure I was crouched, and I did the sneak attack on him. Uh, that did most of the damage. And then I got the, then the combat started. I got a regular attack, and then I got an offhand attack, and that pretty much killed him. He was pretty much gone. I could have taken, I did take the last attack I had, the last offhand attack, um, but I could have alternatively used the last um, bonus action I had to dash or otherwise get the hell out of dodge or to sneak and so he doesn't know where I am and he move out of the way and, and sneak again uh, so that's how combat works with the uh, with the bard rogue bard the bard road and then when I get the slashing that should give me one more attack to start and when I get the 
from the College of Swords, and then three levels later, which is forever, I don't know, I don't know if I'm actually going to be playing this guy that many levels from now. That's a long time. But, were I to get to uh, three levels later, it would be, what would it be? It'd be level nine. I'd, have, I'd need nine levels to get to the extra attack. But when I got to the extra attack, then I would get the attack, and then the slashing attack, that's two. Then I'd get a second attack, and the slashing attack, that's four. Then I'd have two offhand attacks, that'd be six. So, <clears throat> should hurt somebody. All right, that's it. See ya.